Okay, I'm gonna do the unboxing of the ZT Streaming Media Box. About three weeks ago, I saw this at the Walmart, and it looked really, really interesting because it's basically uh, an Android. Um, operating system that you plug into your TV and it has it has all the essentials here um, built in one gigabyte RAM HDMI output uh, Wi-Fi connections uh, SD card memory reader slot uh, and the remote is really, really sounds cool. So yeah, I went on, I went on Google, I went on Google, and I tried to find out about this thing. Nothing, no information whatsoever. So that kind of made me thinking I should like maybe do an unboxing. First thing I got to do is cut that seal. Boy, that's quite the seal. That is quite the seal. Okay, got that part open. Um, hopefully lift this part up. Alright. So you get that, that baby open. That's what you see when you pull that out of the box. Thing looks pretty awesome. And we lift open. We lift it open. Take the little plastic cover off. Very nice. And then I'm guessing because of the the way this is like that, they're wanting you to lift it up out of there, and then you see all the connections. Okay, so here's what we got. We got the AV out, and then we got two USB ports, HDMI, your uh, wired LAN, and power supply. Let me take that out of the box. Take a look at it, and I notice there's um, these rubber feet on the bottom, some venting, and when you put it down on on the the four rubber feet, it's it's really solid. It don't slide around. Very nice. That would be a power button. That's your expanded memory. All right, so a pretty, a pretty strange looking device. You know, it's not a box. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a, like a, like a, a stealth bomber that comes in. You know, it's it's a pretty strange looking shape. I gotta give them that. Now we go back to the rest of the unboxing here and. I took I took the you know the plastic cover off and now I have to see where the rest of the stuff is. So I'm gonna maybe I should flip it over. Oh yeah. See? That's what you gotta do. You gotta flip it over. Cut another piece of tape. Cut another piece of tape. And then Let's see, this piece of cardboard comes off, and then you're faced with uh, the rest of the entire package here. 
take the device and put it over there. And we got this uh, this package of uh, user guide. Flip it over, and let's let's go into that package and see what what's all included in this one. And Got her open. Just dump it right out. And the first thing I noticed was the two batteries that power the remote control. And then I look and I see that would be the remote control. And here we have power supply. And here, which is a really nice thing that they did is that included in the price is the HDMI cable. They put one in the box. That's a really nice touch. I really like that. And then we got the quick start guide. And of course you need this um, this is what they do all the time because they don't want you to just have a problem and run to the store and get your money back. So they they include this thing. But let's let's have a look at that remote control. Because according to what I know, the remote control is also has a uh, built-in QWERTY keyboard. Um, and let's take a look at that. See if I can get it on there. I just get that out. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. The remote control has a full keyboard on one side, but wait a minute, look at the other side. The other side is everything you need to control this device. I'm pretty impressed because they give you everything you need. You got you need your batteries to run the remote. In order to hook the device up to your TV, you need that cable all included in the box. That's a nice touch. Alright, well I'll go hook it up and then I'll do another video and show you how it works on the TV.